Millions of people across the country preparing for that big holiday. Take a look at this. Two of the busiest airports in the nation, Miami and Dallas, travel across the country, making a huge comeback after last year. Yeah, here we go. We want to show you a live look right now above New York City. Thanks to our WABC chopper. I think we can fairly say it is T minus right now until that holiday travel rush begins. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much a guarantee. Our team is covering all the travel angles this morning from weather, the skies, and also the road. Trevor Alt starts us off at LaGuardia Airport here in New York. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, Michael. So the crowds are starting to file in right now. These are all the early risers here at LaGuardia Airport. And while it's not yet crazy, the security line's about 25 minutes. It is expected to get longer and longer. We are expecting this to be one of the busiest, if not the busiest, departure day. And airports and airlines insist they are prepared. But these people are counting on that as so many people are now heading home for the first time in two years. This morning, America's airports bustling as the Thanksgiving travel rush is underway. We feel good. Nervous for her, her first time flying. TSA expecting pre-pandemic passenger levels. More than 2 million people flying today alone. The top destinations Orlando, Anaheim, New York, and Dallas. And travelers already seeing lengthy lines as pandemic restrictions ease. Especially with the holiday weekend, they should have more staff on board. But those crowds will be putting the system to the test. Just weeks removed from Southwest and American Airlines abruptly canceling thousands of flights, though both the TSA and every major airline having bulked up staffing insist they're ready for the rush. One of the interesting things is the eight busiest travel days since the pandemic began are all going to happen between November 19th and November 30th. Naturally, experts say if you're traveling, you should leave yourself extra time to get through security and maybe consider avoiding peak travel times, typically in the afternoon. Book that first flight of the day if you can. If you don't mind getting up early, you're much less likely to be affected by a big cancellation event if you're flying out at 7.30 in the morning than if you're flying out at night. And remember, as busy as it's expected to be today, it's probably going to be even busier for the return flights home Saturday, Sunday, Monday. In fact, the two and a half million passengers expected to fly on Sunday is the single highest total since the pandemic began. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.